Persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principality, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. I like to use my subject this morning, speaking only for a few minutes. Never forsake it. And we pray, dearly, Father, Lord, I will reserve your touch this morning, God. But I'm asking you, God, because of Jesus Christ, your Son, and the precious blood that he showed, shed on Calvary's cross, and the word that I put my faith in, I'm asking you, God, that you would touch us this morning. Our lips, God, that we would speak what you would have us to speak. I ask, oh God, that our hearts would be open to receive. But I'm asking most of all, dear God, that when we leave this place, no man of church will be exalted, but Jesus Christ will be highly exalted and praised, God. Amen. Lord, you are the one that we worship this morning. You are the one that we love, God. Yet also we understand that you loved us while we were yet sinners. Lord, we deserve death and hell. But oh God, because of your grace and mercy, you have given us eternal life. Thank you, Lord, that you never forsake us. David said, Yea, though I walk through the battle and the shadow of death, I will fear the evil. For the ark with me. Amen. We would ask it all in Jesus' name. The church said. Amen. Amen. Sometimes through the fire. Sometimes but always This is the last series in the sermon in the morning conqueror series. I never attempted a series before, but we did do it. <coughs> and the Lord God he got us through it. More than conquerors. We have learned since God says God be for us. Who can be against us? Amen. Amen. We learn that God just didn't stop with justification of salvation. But he who gave Jesus his only begotten son because of his death, one day all of us who are truly born again will be glorified. Yes. Yes. We'll have a glorified body. Yes. Where there'll be no more aches. Yes. No more lost hair. Yes. No more blue teeth. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. The Bible says Satan is accused of the wretched. We learned that as well. I'm about to go out and add myself to sister, the sister in. I have an old slew foot. His charges today are null and void because the blood of Jesus Christ has justified us all. Understand this that the blood of Jesus not only saved you, but it justifies you as you have never sinned. We also know that no believers will obey the Lord are protected by Christ's crucifixion, his resurrection, and is now being exalted. Also, he intercedes for us as well. Yes. Right. In Romans 8.35, we learn from the Apostle Paul, who was inspired by the Holy Spirit. Paul is not talking about the love that we have for Christ, 
but the love that Christ has for each and every one of us. Yeah. And, none, and, and none of the seven threats that he faced are difficult. I mean, know as a, ch a child of God, you will face some things. Yes. But he said, none of those things can separate us from the love of God. Amen. Amen. Also, we, we learned that Jesus Christ's love is real and it's unshakable and it's not fickle like, like man. Yeah. But the child of God will run into trouble. Yes. But whatever trouble you have faced this morning, my God will not forsake you, not throw you under a bus. Yes. Amen. Man will throw you under a bus in a minute. Yes. But my Lord will not. Amen. God loves his sure. But so are our troubles. Can I say it again? God's love, we know, is sure, but so is your troubles. Yes. Because we live in a fallen world. We know sometimes God also allows trouble to come into our lives. Yes. As he did the children of Israel because they are there, or because of their arrogance and their pride and their self-centeredness and their stubbornness. Sometimes God will allow things to come into your life to get you right back on track. Amen? Amen. Amen. But there are some this morning that will go against the word of God to prove, to prove their point. But I tell you this morning, don't do that. Did you hear me? Amen. Because how many know you're cruising for a bruising? Amen. 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 You're fighting a losing battle. When the, when the word of God says something, how many know we should do it? Amen. I don't care whatever it is, we should do it. Yeah. Why should we do it? Because you are not you are you are not your own anymore. You have been bought with the price, the precious Amen. blood of Jesus. Amen. This ain't all of this is not about you, it's about him now. Amen. 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 God will humble you. Oh, I know. Yes. I didn't come to hear this pastor. Well, hey, this is what he gave. Yes. God will humble you as he did Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> he will humble you as he did uh, David and Paul. Yes. And in that pain and loss, I didn't know God would bring you to the end of yourself when you would accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior yes. or rely that he's God. Yes. But sad to say there's some Christians this morning that are just like children. Yes. What do you mean, pastor? You can whip them. You can beat them almost half to death. You can take away their social media toy, but they're going to do what they want to do anyway. Amen. So what can we? What, what do we need to do for them? Fast and pray. Amen. 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 Fast and pray. Because right. God has given all men free will. Amen. 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 And prayerfully and hopefully they will come to the end of themselves as you did and put down your stubborn will and say, Lord, I didn't come just to surrender some. I came to surrender all. Amen. That's the only way you'll be more than a conqueror. The word more than conqueror is translated from the, in the Greek in hyper nikomen. You spell it H Y P E R N I K O M E N. And the word Nike means to overcome. Come on. N I K E means to overcome. Okay. Hyper means over and above. Yes. Together they mean over and above victory. That's why, that's why. Uh, God hate us being whiners and complainers and snivelers. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't you hate your kid whining and sniveling all the time? Mm -hmm. yes. When you have taken care of them all of their lives, mm -hmm. how many know your God can take care of you? Amen. Amen. Do you know who you serve this morning? You serve the Alpha and Omega. Yes. The beginning and the end. The A to the Z. And everything in between. Yes. You serve the one who was and is and is to come. You serve the creator of heaven and earth and everything underneath. You serve the one who, oh, come on somebody. You, you serve the one who told the sea to stay right there and don't leave. The scientists might call it gravity, but my Bible says God told the ocean to stay there. You serve the one who flung the stars in space. Glory to God. We are more than conquerors. Yes. That's right. Amen. That's why when you guys come to pray, I say, put, put your head up. That's right. The Bible says he's the lifter of my head. Yes, he is. Don't come to this altar with your head down and arms closed. Lord, I came to receive. Yeah. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Come on. Well, Ron, I don't know where my next meal is coming from. Well, I have a bank account, a bank account with only my name on it. Come on. Amen. I'm in physical pain. I said earlier, my kids, they should be on the team most wanted list. Come on. But that's okay. Amen. Amen. I don't care. God doesn't care about any of those things. Amen. 
The word of God says you are bought and paid for by the precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If your faith is totally in the work of Christ yes. and what Christ has done there, you are more than a conqueror of God. Yes. You don't need Dr. Phil or Oprah to tell you that you are a conqueror. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, they don't know the conqueror. I know the conqueror. You know the conqueror. The conqueror is Jesus Christ. great man of Paul. How do you know Paul was a great man? Yes. Yes. He was a humble man. He said this at the beginning of his more than conqueror section. He said, we know all things work together yes. for good to them who love yes. God. Yes. Don't forget that part. Who love God. That's right. Man. To them who are, who are the call according to his purpose. God's purpose. Yes. Not your purpose. Yes. God's purpose. Yes. Yes. Don't believe in that thing that you confess anything you need. Yeah, okay. Come on, no. No. no, you can't. No. I confess right now that I can live in Bel Air in a gated community. Come on. <laughs> With a Bentley. Yeah. Come on. Amen. Amen. I'll be confessing to the Trump sign. How many know I never see it? <laughs> <laughs> Amen. 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 If it's not God's purpose, you're not going to have it. But I do know God's purpose for you this morning. To love the Lord with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with yeah. all thy mind. That is yeah. God's purpose. Yeah. It's all to seek the first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And then all other things will be all right. Come on. And it might not be a mansion. It might just be a hut. Right. But as long as it's clean and the glory of God is in the place, that's all that matters. Yeah. Paul gives a list of, of things that we all is, uh, we're facing. He, he, he definitely did. Every Christian should have a personal testimony. Amen. Someone said, without a test, there is no testimony. Right. Right. And we have also learned that faith is tested, but great faith is tested greatly. Right. Amen? Yes. We all should have a testimony of what God has brought us from and what God has brought us through. Yes. I still believe the Word of God still says in my Bible. Yes. See, some of you guys got the strange Bibles. Come on. The message Bible. <laughs> watch what Bible you're reading. Because some, some of those Bibles have taken away from the Word of God. Right. Yes. I still love it, but if you have a message Bible, throw it in the trash like I did mine. Yes. Come on. Yes. Our pastor gave it to me. I threw it right in the trash. Amen. Yes. Come on. Amen. He said, if you confess me before me, and I will confess you before my God. But if you deny me, he said, I will deny you. I remember approximately 23 years ago when I decided to stop living, lying about knowing God and decided to live for God. Yeah. But you didn't get that. A lot of people, they lie about knowing God, but they don't live for God. There's a difference. He said, why do you say, Lord, Lord, and do not what I say? Mm. Did he say that? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I decided to live for God. Yeah, right. There's a difference. Yeah, yes, there is. One, one morning, you know the story. I'm going to repeat it for those who have never heard it before. If you heard it before, just bear with me. Amen. You don't get it, you don't have any problem with TV preachers re repeating their testimony. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, somebody. Right. But I was I had walked away from God. Ran away from God. All the way to California. Oh, really? Come on. He said, I'll never forsake you, nor leave you. Only right. we can forsake God yes. and leave him. Yes. Yes. But thank God for someone that knows, knew how to pray. Yes. But anyway, you guys know the story. I, I, I won my son in a custody battle. And I'm going to preach a sermon one day on mama boys. Come on. Sure. You know, Jesus was no mama boy. Did you know that? Hold up. When are you going to preach? Don't worry about it. But it's coming. Mama boys. Jesus was not a mama boy. Why y'all tapping on each other and everything now? God dropped it right in my spirit. I think I preached on Mother's Day before. Or some of you guys. He back like Mother's Day is a national holiday, so I preach this oh, Sunday boy. before. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Mama boys. Yeah. 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 
But anyway, I lost, I lost my man. What I was talking about? California. Man, I got, well, I got into that one. California. Oh, California. <laughs> Who knew that? I came to California. What, what was I talking about? California. Huh? Let me pray for you. Custody. You know I'm getting old now. I'm old. Custody. Custody. But anyway, I, was, I, I got custody of my son at seven years old. Raised him from seven to, what, wound up at 20? 21? Now he's a California Hollywood tour officer. About six foot seven. I'm trying to get him to move back so I can get some of his, some of his money. <laughs> Amen. 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 But I get my son, and I told the Lord, I said, Lord, if you give me my child, how many know a, 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 a young men should be raised by men? Yeah. Yes. By men. Yes. Yes. I didn't say by mamas. I know mamas might try to do it, but young men should be raised by men. Uh -huh. Thank God I was raised by a great uncle who was a man. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. And so I get my son, and and, 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 and someone told me, said, well, you know what? You're not going to get your son. This is California. Mm -hmm. But I know the God in whom I trust. Yeah. Yeah. And I wouldn't even serve the God. But I knew the God <laughs> whom I trust. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. So guess what I did? I stopped messing around. That's right. I became celibate. Yes. What that means? If you ain't married, you should be messing with. Oh, come on. Come on, Glory to God. Right. Yes. Yes. I began to live for God. God gave me my son. He made it just right before my son would get me when I would receive my son. The judge said, what do you want to give her? I said, nothing. Because when I lay down at night, I can go to sleep. Amen. Amen. Right. Come on. Come on. Come on. We ask God for things, don't we, sometimes? Yes. Here I am in the living room. Remember, I just asked God to give him my son. All of a sudden, I hear a voice that says, what about that promise? So I turned the television because I didn't want to hear the voice. Somebody say the voice was the Holy Spirit. Yeah. What about that promise? So I turned the television trying to run away from the voice and ran right into Reinhard Bunky. <laughs> <laughs> Germany Evangelist preached the gospel of Jesus Christ, glory to God. Yes, he and he was talking to me. Yeah. I heard a voice say, confess me. And I heard another one say, don't do it. Come on. I heard a voice say, it's time to come home, glory to God. And I heard a voice say, don't do it. But it took everything within me. Let me tell you something, church. The powers of darkness are real. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. But thank God there's someone that knew how to pray. Woo. Thank God there was someone that was more than a country that yeah. prayed for me. Yeah. And I got down on my knees. And I accepted Jesus Christ and I asked him to come back into my heart. And all of a sudden I felt like someone took a giant wash rag right. and cleansed me all inside. Woo. Yeah. Yeah. I call it being born again. Yeah. I get up, I go into my son's room, I said, Ron, from this day forward, we are going to church. When Ron was under my roof, we went to church Sunday, Sunday evening. And Wednesday. Amen. Amen. And I believe that's why I'm a pastor today. Because every time the door was open, my wife, when I, we married her, we asked, asked Cindy, we were there. That's right. God is looking for faithful people. That's right. Amen. Amen. Come on, come on, somebody. Amen. He's looking for faithful people. Amen. So now I go to work. At the California Department of Corruption. I mean, correction. <laughs> I'm a transportation officer. What does transportation officer do? do? They transport inmates from the prison to the hospital to other prisons. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. So I go into the watch office. I see this lieutenant. I'm not going to call his name because he might be listening. <laughs> but he was a, he was a kind. He always, every time he had on, he always had on a gold watch and a, a gold bracelet and gold ring. <coughs> Black and Japanese boat. They call it pretty boy. Huh? Come on. And uh, he was a he was he was a watchman man and he said, Matt, that's what he called me. What's going on? I heard a voice say, confess me. I know you guys don't ever do this, but I begin to talk back to God. Come on. I see I can confess you, Lord. Come on. We should talk about women, wine, and song together. Come on. I can't do that. And then I heard the voice say again, confess me before men. If you don't confess me before men, I confess you before my father. That's right. 
Right. If you deny me, I'll deny you. That's right. I said, LT, I accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and my Savior. Right. When, when I said that, I watched the man to drop his pen. Lieutenant, mm, he said, Mac, that's okay. But guess what happened? When I walked out of the office with my transportation orders, I felt like the, the shut that like that like the, 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 the way of the world had left me. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And the same now at the prison I used to work to and work at. There are two things that make family love to talk about. God and food. Come on, somebody. Amen. 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 That's what we need to do. We need to tell people about Jesus. Because there are people that are lost and undone. There are people that are sliding into hell. And they need to be more than conquerors like we are. Come on, somebody. Amen. They need to be more than conquerors as well. But I believe, I believe that all of us must have a personal and intimate relationship with the Lord. Yes. I can't live on my wife's relationship and she can't live on mine. Right. You can't live on your child's relationship and he, and he or she can't live on yours. Right. We must all have a personal relationship with the living God. Come on. Yeah. You know what I call it? When you're not really living for God yourself and you're living through someone else's relationship with God, I call it spiritual welfare. It's time to get off welfare. Come on, somebody. Amen. And serve God your own self. Amen. That day you want to stand before God. We all want to stand before God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give account for every good and bad deed that we've done. Yes. What do you mean, Pastor? I'm going to be saved, but you're still going to stand in the judgment seat of Christ. Yes. And, and you're going to either receive a reward or don't. Mm -hmm. And as we said earlier, some people will be standing up before God smelling just like smoke, just yes. escape yes. hell. <laughs> Amen? Yes. Not going to have one reward. Come on, somebody. Let me tell you something right now. It's about it's not about how many degrees you have or how much money you have. It's about how much God you possess. Yeah. Yeah. You can have more degrees than a thermometer, but it doesn't mean anything if you don't know Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 If you're a conqueror, how do you know you should be you should be desiring to see heaven, I mean hell empty. Amen? Yeah. And not as full as it's going to be. Second point I'd like to say this morning is most Christians don't face the power of darkness because they don't do anything for God. Woo. Come on. Come on. Ouch. They just come to church and just, Lord bless me, if you can. Like you're doing God a favor because you showed up. Come on. Or it's getting quiet in here now. Come on. We Christians are spoiled. Yes, we are. That's right. Come on. I say we're spoiled. Yeah. Do you know there are places in in, 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 uh, on the continent of Africa, uh, in, uh, 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 Central America, come on. Uh -huh. The yeah. pastor have to worry about if it's the vans, are they too cold for you? Come on. <laughs> they walk into, they walk into to, 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 to church past black mongols. I'm not talking about Kobe, I'm talking about snakes. Yeah, right. With just a tin roof. That's right. But they came to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 And guess what? In those nations, miracles are happening. Blinded eyes are being opened and people are even being raised from the dead. And they don't have a bank account. They have a plan in church. Amen. Some of us have two or three Bibles. And they have to read their Bible with a candlelight. What are we going to say when we stand before God? We're so spoiled. I say we. Ooh, come preach it, Pastor. Right. Satan's not worried about non-confessing Christians. How about a week ago that, man, that young man who forfeited his life off the coast of India yeah. to tell old tribesmen that Jesus Christ loves them. Yeah. All I know that every time you shed your blood for the gospel, it does not go in vain, glory to yeah. God. Yeah. Something happens in a place. Yeah. Yeah. But we're too busy. How can you be too busy? God should be too busy to wake you up in the morning. Oh. Oh. And leave you there for a while. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. He should have been too busy to go to the cross, but he wasn't. That's right. That's right. That's right. Too busy. That's right. If you're too busy, you need to check yourself. Exactly. Amen. Mm. That's right, Lord. Amen. 
That job that God gave you that you're too busy? Mm -hmm. I don't know he can take it. Right. Right. It real quiet in now. If there's anything that Americans are not like you messing with, is their material comfort. That's right. That's right. Too busy. Mm -hmm. Well, Pastor, why you say that? Because I used to get up at 1 o'clock in the morning and be work at 3 and still came in 5 and still didn't tonight. Come on. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Amen. So what, what, is, what is everybody else's excuse? Yeah. I'm too busy. I'm too tired. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Um, I want to keep in hell time right now. Oh, oh. <laughs> come on. You're not too tired. You go get that paycheck that God allowed you to make. Oh, it's getting quiet in here now. <laughs> but we want revival. Come on, Pastor. God want to awaken us. We're not too tired. We watch TV all night until our eyes hurt on YouTube. On Facebook. Uh, oh, uh, preach it! Uh, <laughs> yeah. Ooh. I don't see how people can sleep all day long. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get up early in the morning. Amen. Just, I, I'm talking talk to the men now. Just sleep all the time. Come on. <laughs> get up! Get up. That's right. That's right. right. Get up. Them young, pe young, young people at the house, get up on Saturday morning, do something, clean the yard, sweep, mop, do something. Yeah. 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 I, can't wait to, I can't wait to preach mama boys. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. Somebody say, Pastor Herbert landed the plane. Herbert the plane. <laughs> There are few people who have suffered like Paul. But yet, through all that pain, Paul still took the gospel to the Lord, the gospel to the world. Amen? Yes. Amen. 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 Listen to me. We can't allow for open borders, but we can take the gospel to the borders. To tell them that Jesus Christ died for them. Amen? Amen. That Jesus Christ loves them. We want to send people all the way to Africa. You got people right at the border. That's Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Good work. Good work. Yeah. That's right. Amen. Amen. Come on. Preach. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Maybe the Native Americans should have put up a wall. Ooh. None of us would have been here. That's true. That's true. If there was a time when Christians, you see what Satan has us, that gospel prosperity, when that foolishness was going around, all it made us do was turn it inward to see how much I can hoard, how much I can possess. There was a time that America sent missionaries all over the world. That's right. That's right. Your mom was in Iran, wasn't she? Iraq, yeah. Iraq, and love Iraqi people, huh? Can I say one thing, church? God just didn't die for America. That's right. He died for the whole world. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Muslims are being saved now. Amen. Jesus Christ is appearing to them. Yes. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 I wish they let, man, I wish, I will take my 40 or 50 born again. Yes. Amen. In this church. Man, from man. every uh, country on the earth that they're being persecuted, yeah. then we really have some church. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. That's right. As long as they come in right, yes. Yes. And, right. and have you all y'all sit in the nursery. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amen. 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 A few weeks ago, he said, Lord, that's how he talks to me. What I like about you, you're not a partisan. No. You, you just tell it like I told you to tell it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care who yeah. you are. I don't care the color of your skin or what political party to you. The word of God, if God tell me if I lay you with it, you'll get laid with it. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It's about the Bible. It's about what God says. 
says. He says, walk for any man. Amen. Where is the love that we once had for people? Where? Yes. Amen. Exactly. Can I say one thing? There's a storm coming. Oh, yes. Yes. And we're going to learn how to love one another. Yes. Remember 9 11? Yeah. Woo, man, we were all Americans. No hyphens. <laughs> right or wrong? Right. Man, everybody was praying for two weeks. Then everybody went right back to the corner. That's right. Act like a bunch of idiots. Yep. I'm not talking about the church, I'm talking about the world. Yep. No, I'm talking about the church too. That's yes. right. That's right. God allowed in 9 11. Did you know that? Yes. Yes. He brought the heads down. Yes. Man. Yes. Man, I don't know why I'm saying this, Mr. Green. It's not even in the notes. Speak, Lord. Honduras. Guatemala, and the United States of America, yeah. and the whole world for that, for that matter. Their only, their only hope is Jesus Christ. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm a priest now. It's not in a tax cut, it's not in money, it's not in economics, it's not in our military strength. It's in the cross of Jesus Christ. And our If we just have some more money. There are a lot of rich idiots in Hollywood and in DC. Money doesn't change hearts, the Holy Spirit does. Somebody say, hurry up with this message. <laughs> Don't worry, next week you'll be you'll, you'll be getting your work, okay? Father Sabbath and everything. <laughs> I fight this call that God placed upon my life. Because it's not the call of just a pastor, it's the call of the evangelist. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And I'm not saying that, but God, that's my call to evangelize, to tell people about Jesus, to get in your face. And tell you all is myself as well. We need to start loving people. Yeah. We need to start praying for people. Oh, glory to God. Can I say one thing? Come on, yes. Come on, yes. The Jewish people don't even claim to be born again. That's right. They don't even believe in Jesus Christ. They show more love to their enemies than we do. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's a shame. Yes. We're supposed to have a spirit of God in us. Come on. If there's one thing that God hated was self-righteousness. Yeah. Who was the self-righteous people? The religious yeah. people. They were so yeah. self-righteous. They were. Oh, yeah. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Jesus, he loved everybody. Yes. Yes. The woman at the well. Right. The one that was caught in adultery. Come on. Right. The Samaritan. Yes. That's right. Who wasn't even Jewish but mixed, half breeds, he loved them too. Amen. You know how you tell somebody whether you love people or not? When other people eat under at your table. That don't look like you. That's right. Come on. All right. People better than you. When they come to your house and they put they put they put their feet under your table, that's how you can tell we really love people. Amen. I'm so sick of everybody that I got this type of friend, and I got that type of friend, and I have that type of friend. <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Yeah. The last time you've been to your house, you eat under your table. At your table. I've been at this table before. I can't wait to eat again. Amen. <laughs> so, so. I've been, I've, that was that. I've been in your house before too, huh? Yeah. I'm not talking about go by the house, I'm talking about being in the house. Yeah. <laughs> All I ask you to do is bite and wash your hands. That's all I'm asking. Oh, <laughs> Let me move on. <laughs> During the dark ages, the church forsook Christ and evolved into the Catholic Church. The Catholic Church tried to bring about the kingdom of God by what? Force. By force. Right. The American Church is trying to bring about the kingdom of God by material, 
psychological or political means. And none of them are going to work. I believe one day, when I close my eyes, I don't care what you guys say about me, because it's not going to matter. I'm going to be in heaven. But this is what you're going to say. For the last 12 or 13 years, Pastor Ron has told me to stop putting my trust in men and put my trust in Jesus Christ. Many died during the dark ages because they confessed Christ and Christ alone. Yes. And when I plead allegiance to the Catholic Church and all the Pope, because, and that, what that made them? That made them more than conquerors. That's right. I got one more point. Fight on. Yes. Paul didn't stop, he didn't quit, but he fought on. How many of you willing to fight on this morning? Yeah. By faith. Yeah. When Paul saw, who said, for I am persuaded that the list of things he faced, there were tests that God he did, he made him happen to withstand. I know when you withstand a test, it's not because of your doing. It's not because of your intellect. It's because of the power that God has, has given you. Amen. 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 My Bible says in Ephesians 6.13, But that's what happened. That's what happened years ago when they tried to when when they tried to to make people plead allegiance to uh, uh, the head of a church. How many of your allegiance is not to me? Your allegiance is not to a denomination. Your allegiance is to God. And people, that's what I'm saying. Most churches act just like game bangers. I'm Baptist. I'm Methodist. Come on. I'm Pentecostal. I'm looking for people who save. Yeah. 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 You have people fight to the death on the denomination they go to. I was an African AME, African Methodist Episcopal. Right. My uncle was an elder in the church. My whole family was, was there probably when they put the first nail in the board. But guess what? I was lost. I didn't know Christ. That's right. Amen. 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 When you stand before God, it's going to be because you're born again, not what, what game yeah. you belong to. Yeah. Amen. That's right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I'm, 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 Man. Somebody say fight on. Fight on. Fight on. My Bible says in Ephesians 6 13, wherefore take unto you the whole arm of God yes. that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, you keep standing. Stand. Yes. Whatever comes against you, you keep what? Standing. On God's word. word. I don't care how the wind blows. Yes. I don't care how deep the valley goes. Come on, somebody. Yes. You stand on God's word. Yes. I've learned right before God was getting ready to do something, I just gave up. Yes. That's right. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now you stand, because how many know we can endure for a night, yes. but joy is coming in the morning. Able Paul to stand and be a conqueror against the powers of darkness and persecution. Christ's death and, and, and resurrection also gave Paul the victory. And us as well. Christ's death proved his love for both Paul and us. And whatever we encounter, it will not separate us from the love of God. Somebody say, we're never forsaken. Never. How many want to die in this church? Let me rephrase this. I said, how many want to die? I said, how many want to die? Okay. Well, I don't. Am I ready to die? Yes, because I know Jesus, but I do I want to die? No. But how many know we're not supposed to fear death? Yes. Paul didn't fear death because why? Jesus destroyed it. And the child of God doesn't have to fear it. And that's why many have given their lives for Christ. That young man who gave his life off the coast of India, he said, I don't want to die. But he died for Christ. Amen. Yes. How many know we have fallen angels that come against us as well? 
Yes. 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 I'll be there's a couple around this area. No, I, I really do. No, no. That are holding this holding this area back. I'm not talking about Aaron, I'm talking about this whole area. You guys blame it on the city council, and I blame it on the fallen angels why we don't have any golden corrals and applebees and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 fallen angels, they do, they inhabit certain areas. Yeah. Yeah. There's a fallen angel here, I think his name is called Moroni, Mormonism. Yeah. Yeah. But these fallen angels, they sided with, they sided with, uh, they sided with, 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 with Lucifer when he fell. And how many know they're demons that are religious demons? Yes. They're very religious. Amen. The gospel of Jesus Christ, where God is a fallen angel, still going to Saudi Arabia, still going into Russia, still going into China, and still going into India. What you're saying, Pastor Kent, nothing stopped the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. How, about, how about principalities? Those are the fallen angels, chief rulers of the highest rank in Satan's kingdom. See, brother, brother, because you thought it was your mother in law. No, no, man. It's, right. it's power. Fallen angels. I'm just kidding. Amen. 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 I thought my mama law, my mother in law. It's these things that we go against that you can't even see. Amen. Right. Amen. How about power? They, they derive their power and execute the will of the chief angels. How about no things present? It refers to the present trials yeah. caused by these principalities and and, 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 and powers. How about things to come? Right now, yeah. Satan is, is, him and his demonic kingdom are, are scheming things yeah. that are to come. Amen. The battle of Armageddon is going to come. Amen? Yeah. Who do you think is going to be against it? Satan is. Yeah. He's scheming things against your life. He tried to kill me Saturday. Come on. Yeah. And my wife. Yeah. Come on. Wow. You guys got a minute? Yeah. Yeah. I almost lost my life Saturday. Come on. Praise God. But thank God for His grace and mercy. Come on. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I'm over in Avondale. Going to Walgreens. <laughs> it was my fault. And you know, my wife, you know how she is about church money, everybody else is like that. Our money too was going out of heaven. Somebody say, I love my wife. <laughs> and so we going to Walgreens and I'm so she got me trained. <laughs> Shoot. When it comes to money. She said, Juan, there's some milk right here. I said, but it's cheaper at Walmart. That's right. On the other side of the 10 in Avondale. And that's not 2%. I was looking for some stuff called aloe vera to put in your neck. Yeah. And so I got upset because Sylvia had me breaking down to spend a little extra money, brother Gus. I'm trying to be like her. I don't want to spend no money. So I said, let's go to Walmart. How many know sometimes you try to have your way and end up losing your life? <laughs> so the first thing I did was someone was parked, park, backing out of the parking space, and I went around with them. Somebody say, ain't uh, <laughs> And then I shot up to the road. And guess what was, guess what was right there? A partition. It wasn't for me to go across, but it was a partition of cement. I'm headed for I'm talking about, I'm moving. She was said, run! I went, what? She said, you got to go around. All of a sudden, I realized what was there, and I turned to the left. Guess what was coming this way? Two vehicles. It had to be God. Man, I turned that car around like this and shot back in the way I came out. <laughs> Transportation training, that was the Lord. Come on, somebody. That was God. So we go to Bills. I haven't known Cindy like Bills. B E A L S. I said, You get out. She said, No, I'm not getting I guess she was in the steel shaking. <laughs> So messed up. Can I keep it real? Yeah. I was so messed up. I went in there to buy something for me. Instead of using my car, I used the church credit card. Uh -oh. <laughs> don't worry about it. I reimbursed the church. Amen. 
It's civil like the church credit card. Man, and, then, and so the next day I said, man, you know what? We almost lost our lives. And guess what the flesh said? That was your transportation train. I said, hold on. That was my God. Yeah. What did he say, Pastor? You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. Not because of your intellect, not because of your strength, not because of your college degree. You are more than a conqueror because of Jesus Christ who loves you. The angel got in that car and turned that thing with it. I believe he put his hands on my head and he turned that wheel. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Somebody need to give God some praise. Yeah. Yeah. I, gotta, I gotta land the plane. I gotta land the plane. You know what? A thousand dollars can huff and puff all they want to, but they cannot blow this house down. Come on, somebody. Yeah. No height. Not death refers to Satan and the prince and the prince of the powers of the air and the horrors of hell. We are more than conquerors over them as well. Because we are not going to hell anymore. We are headed to hell alone. And if you fail, I know you won't if you fail, I don't know if you fail, then you can get right back up and keep running this race. Amen. Amen. Let me land this plane. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm going to land the plane. Because I know, like the brother said, some of us are Christian nets. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How, why are you more than a conqueror? We're getting that side of the sermon today. You're more than a conqueror, not because of you, of the champion in you. You are a conqueror because of Christ our Lord. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we must, I love that old gospel song. It says, Nothing in my hands I bring. Simply to the cross, I claim it. Pastor, in closing, why do you preach so hard against humanistic psychology? And there are people that get upset because you do it, or there are a lot of people who are, even young people who are, that's their major, they want to, they, if you ask most people today, what is, what, 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 what was your major? Psychology. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? Yeah. Psychology came, psychology is an empty bucket. Yeah. Because it came from mass law and fraud. Yeah. Who didn't even believe in Jesus Christ? Right. Yeah. Right. Right. I gotta land the plane. Young people. Young people, hold your hands up. Young people. <laughs> Damn, <y 'all. laughs> this is not a sermon. Learn a trade. Amen. Right. 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 Learn a trade. Plumber, electrician, right. air conditioner, I don't care what, I, even if you want to be a scientist or a doctor, learn a trade. Yes. Yes. A carpenter. Come on. Yes. There are psychologists right now sitting at home. That's right. Can't find a job. Right. But if you are a carpenter, or you are an electrician, yes. a plumber, come on somebody. That's right. My kid. Learn a trade. Right. Remember in high school when they used to have trades? Yeah. I wish I would have learned a trade. My friend uncle tried to tell me. And like I said, he said, not you guys. Boy, come on. I say he said. Boy, learn yourself a trade. Giovanni, I know you're going to school now. Get, a t get, get in there and learn a trail. Because right. you can always fall back on it. Right. 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 Amen. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. That was free right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's good word. That's good word. Yeah. And Jesus Christ was a, was a green one. He was a mechanic. I look, I look at these guys, man, they can, how they can do electricity and, and plumbing and stuff like that. Man, I wish I would learn that. They say it's too, too late or too old. No. But Leon, but Leon, a copper. Now, I wish I could. Bro. Bro, bro, my brother here, carpenter, brother Mike. Man, I admire you guys, man. I was trying to put in a battery in my alarm the, the day I almost tore that off the wall. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. You guys laugh at me once I get it. That's all right. I did it. It took my time. 
she was looking at me, I said, get her out of here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but if you have a trade, yeah. what Jacob? Trade. Mm -hmm. right. That makes them get a trade. Get a trade. Amen? Let me lay this back. Everything we need is in Jesus Christ. Amen. Everything we have is in Jesus Christ. He's our Savior, He's our Justifier, He's our Healer, He's our Provider, He's our Judge, and He's a lover of our eternal soul. I end with this song. I have seen the lightning flash. I have heard the thunder roll. I have felt sins, breakers, dashing, trying to conquer my soul. But I hear the voice of Jesus telling me, fight on. Yes. He has told me I'll never leave you. No. I'll never leave you. No. Yeah. Right. Oh, God. I don't know what you're going through this morning. Like me, please. But if Satan has whispered to you, whatever you might be facing, that you are alone, he's a liar. I don't care how it looks this morning, you are never alone. You are more than a conqueror. Amen? So I don't blame him by every eye closed right now. Who has felt like almost, not just, just giving up, like, Lord, I can't see the, I can't see the light, I can't see the forest for the trees. But you came today and you've learned that the Lord will never leave you alone. And you are more than a conqueror. If you're that person this morning, the devil has whispered no lies to you, I want you to quit. I want you to raise your hand and say, Pastor, you this was talking to me today. Yes. I want everyone standing, please. And what I love about altar call is that when Christ died on the cross, he didn't do it in a side room. Amen. He did it in front of the whole world. Yes. And if you raise your hand this morning, I think I want you to slip out of your seat and I want to pray with you. I want you to come down to this altar. And we're going to pray your victory of being a conqueror this morning. Just step out of your seat if you raise your hand early. If you feel life, life is pressing against you this morning. It might not even be you. It might have been concerning a family member. It might be a job. It might be employment. It might be finances. It might be anything. But you are more than a conqueror this morning. I don't care what the devil tells you. You are more than a conqueror. Glory to God. Your family, you're more than a conqueror. All of you, just turn up just a little bit, Jacob. Just a little bit. I want to this. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> yes. See, I felt sin. Yes. Mighty breakers dashing. That will be all church. We felt those pressures of life. They were trying. Trying. Trying to conquer. Yes, they were. Come on, sing it, sing it. Then I heard. Then we heard. The voice of my Savior. Let it ring, Jacob. Let it ring. Let it ring. Let it ring. Yes. Yes, 
Don't ask me to pray, Pastor. Don't ask me to pray, Pastor. Don't ask me to pray. I'm asking somebody to pray. I want, I want, I want you to grab your wife's hand, Pope Paul. Grab her and come on up here. Come on. Man. Man. Okay. All right. And I want everybody else to put your head down. Don't even look at them. Make them nervous and stuff. I got you. I got to worry about it. I believe I said you got to worry about it. Everybody put your head down. Whatever you want, each one of your heart. Amen. Now, who's been talking to you, Pastor? The Lord. Come on, man. Y'all can look up. Y'all can look. Because I have a story to tell you about. Amen. I was talking to another sister Halloween night at Pastor's house. And she said to me how Pastor calls her out to pray <laughs> and how he brings you out of your comfort zone. <laughs> and I said, I sit back there and I pray that he never does that. <laughs> True story. <laughs> and she said, well, I'm going to be praying that he does it. Wait a minute. You can't pray against me. <laughs> So I'm laying in bed a couple nights later, I have a sleepless night, and I'm thinking, I'm just thinking, you know, and God gave me 2 Timothy 1.7. Mm. Right. He did not give me a spirit of fear. Hallelujah. He gave me a spirit of power. Yeah, come on. Yeah. To talk to Come God. on. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 That came from God. Yes. Because yeah. I'm a very insecure person. So. <laughs> you are welcome to all join me in prayer. <laughs> Pray. Praise, Praise, Praise the Lord. God. Thank you, Lord. Do you want the mic? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job. <laughs> Everybody, body <about> head. <laughs> yes. Our um, Father, who yes, art in heaven, we thank you for your word today. Mm -hmm. yes, thank you. And we thank you for, now I'm at a loss for words, God, but, yes, but you know my heart. Yes. 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 We praise you for bringing us into your house yes. together, yes. and we ask you to keep us all safe. Yes. yes. And in Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.